mid-afternoon in New Babylon, and David Hassett was frantic. Annie was nowhere in sight, and he had heard nothing from her. Yet he could barely turn his eyes from the gigantic screen in the palace courtyard. The image of the in defeatable Nikolai a defeated defeated defeatable Nikolai Carpathia, freshly risen from three days dead, filled the screen and crackled with energy. David believed if he was within reach of the man, he could be electrocuted by some demonic charge. With the disappearance of his love fighting for his attention, David found himself drawn past the jumbo monitors and the guards and the crowds to, d to the edge of their buyer that had just hours before displayed the quite dead body of the king of the world. Should David be able to see evidence that the man was now indwelt by Satan himself? The body, the hair, the complexion, the look were the same, but an intensity, an air of restlessness and alertness flowed from the eyes. Though he smiled and talked softly, it was as if Nikolai could barely contain the monster within. Controlled fury, violence delayed, revenge, and abeyance played at the <clears throat> muscles in his neck and shoulders. David half expected him to burst from his suit and then from his very skin, exposed to the world as the repulsive serpent he was. David's attention was diverted briefly by someone next to Carpathia. And when he glanced back at the still ruggedly handsome face, he was not prepared to have caught the eye of the enemy of his soul. Nikolai knew him, of course, but the look through it contained recognition, did not carry the usual acceptance and encouragement David was used to. That very welcoming gaze had always unnerved him, yet he preferred it. Okay, so, or preferred it over this. Okay, so, that's all I've got for you for this video. If you like this video, or if you like this content, like this video, or comment below. Now, don't forget to go out there and ramble it. Flood the world with love, peace, joy, and charity. Thank you, and have a good day.